Hey everybody. Uh, it's another comfy cozy day for me in my robe this morning. And before we do our next handwriting practice, I wanted to introduce a new group of letters. We talked about the um, magic C letters. So it was C, O, A, D, and G. And they all start off with the magic C. The next group of letters has something in common. And guess what they like to do? They like to dive off of diving boards. Some of them like the low diving board and some like the high diving board. So starting with our next lesson, it will be the letter M and it is a diving letter. Here is a photo of a high diving board and a low diving board and there are kids on the diving boards ready to jump off. Now you know what's going to happen when they jump. They will go down because gravity works. Remember, you start at the top of a diving board and you drop down into the water. After diving letters touch the bottom, they always swim back up to the line and swim across and do something depending on the letter. Let's take a quick look at all the diving lowercase letters. R comes first because it swims the least. It's going to jump off of the low diving board, touch the bottom, and it swims up over and gets a breath, and then it's tired. It gets out of the pool. N swims a little farther. It jumps off of the low diving board, touches the bottom, turns around, comes back up for a breath, and then it goes back to the bottom again and touches. Lowercase m swims even farther. It dives off of the low diving board, touches the bottom, comes back up for a breath, goes back to the bottom, and then it comes back up for another breath and then goes back to the bottom. There are two letters that are high diving board letters. H is one of them. It jumps off of the high diving board. It goes down to the bottom of the pool. It swims back up to get a breath. So it stops in the middle to get a breath. And then it turns right around and swims back and touches the bottom again. Now, lowercase b does something really interesting. It jumps off of the high dive and touches the bottom. It swims up to get a breath, and then it swims back along the bottom and touches right where it dove in at the beginning. And the last diving letter is lowercase p. It jumps off of the low diving board, but then it dives into the basement, or we could say into the deep, dark ocean. It turns around and comes back up for a breath, and then it swims around and along the bottom of the pool, kind of like lowercase b did. So lowercase p can be a challenge. When we get there, though, we'll take our time to learn how to do it correctly. So there you have it, the diving lowercase letters, and we are going to do the first one next.